Sorry about the shaking, y'all. <clears throat> what's going on, man? It's your boy GQ Derek. Y'all already know what's going on, man. Go ahead and hit that like, share, comment, subscribe, man, before we even get all the way up into it. <clears throat> Sorry, I kind of got a little. This weather going up and down up in here, out here in uh, Texas, man. I'm going to try to make this video as quick as possible. Got a couple things to do when it's hot out here, man, but I had some things on my mind that I did want to talk about as far as, like, uh, just high value. I feel like it's another topic that, uh, <clears throat> a lot of young men need to hear about. Um, but beginning the video, man, I did want to talk about what's not high value. Um, and this is all my perspective. I mean, take it how you want to take it, take it with a grain of salt, or, you know, put it in, put it, put what I'm saying and what you know about high value into your own perspective. I just wanted to put, uh, what I feel like it is and what it's not out there. I feel like it's a misconception that a high value man need to be rich, need to have all of this money, need to have all of this stuff going on to even have a certain caliber type of woman, but one that's false, especially with a true woman. Money is not top of the list with a, with a real woman of value. And a real man of value, of course, you know, you want to have your money together, but that's not, it's not top of the list. Number two, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know if that got in the mic or not. Number two, uh, what you do for a living is not the biggest thing either. You know, what you do for a living is not the biggest thing either. You know what I mean? You can be a janitor uh, and make pretty decent money depending on where you live at and depending on your situation. Everybody's situation not the same. Uh, just a little small example, but you can be a janitor and still be high value in your home. You can be high value in your home just by taking care of your home, and making sure everything uh, regarding your household, regarding your woman, and if you've got kids, regarding your kids is straight. Um, as y'all see, I ain't really got no notes and nothing. I'm just kind of freestyling, so that's what I'm gonna do for the whole video, just kind of freestyle. Uh, we can go ahead and you know what we'll go into what I think is a high value man. What I feel like is a high value man is somebody that that take care of their home. Somebody that take care of their home. And what I mean by taking care of their home is sometimes you gotta pick up where uh where your lady slack off at. Or 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 you gotta be able to see things uh, that need to be taken care of within the household without somebody having to say something all the time. And it ain't gotta be all monetary either. Like I was saying in the beginning of the video, it's not even all about money, to be honest. You know, you last one out the bed, make sure the bed taken care of. Make sure the house clean. Make sure the bathroom clean, make sure everything's straightened up. Make sure your shoes ain't everywhere like a little ass kid. You know what I'm saying? Make sure the dog straight, if you got a dog or any other type of pet that you got. You know, just kind of take over and pick up the slack where another, where, you know, where your partner might lack at. Listening is a big deal too. You wanna listen. You wanna make sure you got your, you got your ears open more than your mouth with your woman. I know that's a hard thing to do a lot of the time for most men. Hell, it's a hard thing for me to do still to this day. You know what I mean? Especially when you got so much to say, sometimes you just gotta. Sometimes you just gotta be able to hold it in and not really hold it in. You gotta know when and where important things need to be said, and when certain things is not that serious. Um, another thing, man, just kind of what I was going over in the last video. It kind of kind of overflows into this video too. Consistency, man. You gotta be consistent at whatever you do. You can't be high value if you're not consistent at something. If you if you steady switching up your moves, if you 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 indecisive, that's a real big part of being high value. Indecisiveness and uh, inconsistency. Can't be high value without them two things. And I'm guilty of that myself, man. Um, just not being consistent, changing up my plans, just trying to figure things out. Uh, trying to figure out the way things are supposed to work and, and what you want to do for your life and accepting different pressures and trying to 
take care of them pressures right away instead of understanding that certain things take time. You know, you might have to be on that small job for a while to, to move up on that job, to be able to get a higher position at that job. You know what I mean? To be able to get that, that team lead role, to get out of that regular associate role, or if you at a if, if you at a restaurant, to be able to get off that grill or get off them biscuits or whatever machine or the fries, whatever machine they got you on, to be able to move up into a higher position. You gotta do what you gotta do, man. That's what we gotta understand as men. You gotta do what you gotta do and you gotta learn everything that you need to learn to be able to get to the next level. You can't skip levels, man. I know uh if anybody know anything about Kevin Samuels, one thing he used to always talk about is uh you can't cheat the game, man. You definitely can't cheat the game. You can't cheat the game at all, man. I don't care how hard you try. And honestly, you know, I like life better this way anyway when, where you can't cheat the game. I feel like it's unfair to even cheat the game because you don't learn what you need to learn along the path of making no mistakes uh, if everything was perfect. If everything was perfect and everything went a certain way, you would never get to a certain level. feel like it's power in mistakes I feel like that's what really I feel like that's where all your power come from and being high value it's making them mistakes before you get to a certain level and often as a man we learn things too late you know either our father didn't learn it or the people we got around us don't know it because we got a certain crowd around us that don't know anything about being a high value man or even being a man for that matter you know what I mean just because you got a certain private part and you you know you you walk around <laughs> oh, you can lift a bunch of weight in the weight room that don't make you a real man appearance is a big deal of being high value but that 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 alone don't make you a man you got to do a lot more than that to uh be considered a real man especially in a woman's eyes a real woman's eyes and when i talk about when i say anything about women i ain't just talking about just any woman i'm talking about a real 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 true feminine woman woman that bask in her divine femininity that's a, that's a whole another video for a whole another day right there drop down in the comments man if y'all want me to bring some content about women too man i know that's that's been pretty controversial on other channels and stuff like that but let me know if that's something y'all will even be interested in me talking about this is my first time really using my mic in a, uh, in a in a video. That's why I'm kind of talking low. We're definitely gonna check it out in the content. Gonna get better every single video. As y'all can see, I wasn't even using my mic last video, so we're gonna see how this one turn out too. But yeah, man, high value is how you walk into a room. You can command energy just by the way you talk. You know, uh, you can't walk into a room sagging your pants. Dressing like a little boy, you know what I mean? Dressing like a little boy is another thing that's not high value. You know what I mean? I understand people want to dress the way that they want to dress, dress the way that they want to dress, and, and, and that's cool, that's okay. But at some point, man, as a man, if you want to step in certain rooms and you want to have certain opportunities and be on a certain level, you 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 gotta you gotta get with the program, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta, you gotta look you gotta look a certain way. You know what I mean? That gym is important, man. That gym is important, man. I lost a whole lot of weight. I'm trying to get it back right now. So that's a daily process too. You know what I mean? Um, not letting things, not letting small things turn into big things is another thing. Learning how to control your emotions. Emotional intelligence is a, is a, is a, is a, is a, is, is actually probably should be top of the list. Emotional intelligence is very important because how you going to let alone deal with life, let alone deal with a job, how you going to deal with a woman you can't even control your emotions? <laughs> let that sink in. How you going to deal with anything, life, a job, your woman, any other woman? Some of y'all are probably still juggling multi multiple women. That's a little boy game too. But how you going to do that if you don't have emotional intelligence? got to have emotional intelligence your your, your brain got to be intact your thoughts got to be intact your your decisions have to be intact i feel like you probably shouldn't even open your mouth if your decisions ain't right if you if you if you if you don't 100 percent agree with what's about to come out your mouth i feel like you probably shouldn't even say nothing as a man you know women are meant to be in their emotions it's okay as a man to be emotional but to vast in your emotions 
it's not a man thing. But yeah, man, like I said, it's kind of hot out here. I don't want to talk y'all ears off. Just wanted to make sure I touched on this topic. Y'all drop down in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Anything I missed, anything I should have added to the video. Or anything y'all think I should talk about in another video. Dang. Lies, man. It's trash can right here on the other side of the, uh, of the camera that y'all can't see. As y'all can see, I'm outside in my community. Nice day outside. Just came from a walk. Uh, I'm about to go to the house. Get some things together at the house. Probably eating stuff like that. Kick back. Well, hit the gym then. Probably kick back for the rest of the day. Uh, but I got another video too on the vulnerability, vulnerable, vulnerability. <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk today, man. I got another video on that coming too, where I'm gonna go in depth and explain why I feel like vulnerability is strength and why vulnerability is strength and it's not a weakness and it's not feminine. So be on the lookout for that video too. But like I said, man, like, comment, share, subscribe. On the bottom of this video, let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what y'all think I should comment on or uh, talk about in the next video too. I wanna bring more videos like this to the forefront. I got a lot to talk about, man. A lot of people know me from, from talking about stuff like this on Facebook and uh, comment stuff like this on Facebook. And, you know, these type of topics come from, coming from Facebook and partially Instagram. I just wanna get it out a little bit more. It's been on my spirit a little bit, so I'm just letting it flow. I know what time it is, man. It's your boy GQ Derry. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.